Welcome back to Randy's DIY. Today we're going to talk about this RCBS M500 scale that came bundled with the RCBS Rock Chucker Supreme Master Reloading Kit. The reason for this video is to answer some questions that I had in my previous video. I indicated that I was looking for some help determining whether or not this scale was accurate enough to reload. And the reason those questions arose was because of these check weights. I've done a lot of reading about reloading according to some of my reading and videos that I've watched. I need to verify the scale to make sure that it is accurate for reloading. I had these OHOS check weights. Well, let's not call them check weights. Let's call them weights. The OHOS company actually makes a lot of the RCBS scales, Lyman's, uh, Hornady. They're a scale company. They're actually a medical grade company they make lots of stuff for the medical industry so they are a very reputable company i had this little balance scale out in my shop for my kids to play with and it came with these weights and that's exactly what they are they're play weights i think because when i used them to verify my accuracy of this scale on some of the weights they were as much as four tenths of a grain off that had me a little bit worried. So I decided to put these to the side and I went and bought a RCBS 9892 scale check weight set, the deluxe set. And it comes in this really nice little plastic box. And this is what it includes. It includes a manual. And the manual is very handy because if you notice right here, you'll see that some of the light weight weights are bent in certain shapes and you have to refer to this manual to determine what the uh, weights are. And then of course over here we have what else is included in the kit. One 200 grain, two 100 grains, 150 grain, and so on. So you see how that works. One thing I did notice about these, I, my eyesight is not the best, so it's hard for me to read the weights on top of these. They're a little bit difficult for me to, to read. They are engraved very well, it's a nice set. However, like I said, my eyesight's not the best, and even with my glasses, I have trouble seeing those. The small weight set comes in its own little package here, and then all the cylindrical weights are here. One thing I can say, this is an extremely nice kit, but one thing I can say is go ahead and get you a new pair of tweezers, because these tweezers, they are, they're not the greatest. Let's just put it that way. We're going to use the tweezers for accessing these little weights. First thing we want to do, make sure our scale is zeroed. It is absolutely perfectly on. This little guy here is the zero indicator. And according to the instructions, the upper and lower indicators uh, indicate 0.5 grains approximately. And the manual does say approximate. We're going to test that. Let's go ahead and start off by taking this smallest weight which is 0.5 grains. I'm going to drop this in our pan and before we move any of our weights, our scale weights, we're going to look at this indicator right here and we can see that it doesn't quite line up with the top pointer. As the manual said on this scale, it is an approximate indicator. Now let's see how accurate this scale is. So we got a 0.5 grain in here so we're going to Move our tenth grain indicator over here to the five hash mark. And let's see where it bounces out to. With these weights, the scale I think is going to perform much better. So I'm going to remove the 0.5 and let's move up to the one grain weight and go ahead and move our scale over to one grain. And let's see how it settles out. We are again dead on. All right, two for two. Now let's move up to the two grain weight, and it's the larger house top shape weight. Drop it in the pan, move us over to the two. All right, let's see how it settles in. Again, it looks like it's going to settle dead on the point. Three for three. Now let's add another two grain into the pan. And that makes us go over here to four. And let's see how it goes with four grains. Dead accurate. Dead accurate. Let's try five. And with the five grains, we're going to do this multiple ways. 
So we're going to try to check the five grain weights with two twos and a one. And we're going to check it on the tenth of a grain scale. And we're also going to check it on the five grain scale to see if we get accuracy between the two weight markers. And then we'll move on to the cylinder weights. It is dead on. Now I'm looking at the scale from eye level, so hopefully the camera is close enough to eye level that you're getting the same indication that I am. Of course, there's always an opportunity for parallax. <clears throat> five grains was exactly five grains, and that was measuring it using the tenth the grain scale. Now we're going to put this back on zero, and we're going to drop the five grain weight, the big weight, over to the first indicator, which is five grains. See where the scale settles in. Dead on the mark. It looks well. It may be. It may be just slightly high, but if anything, it's it's a very very minute amount. Let's check this by moving this tenth of a grain slider over one. Yeah, now it's low. It's it's a good bit low. So if anything, it was probably a half of a tenth of a grain off and using that slide. Switch weights. I'm going to take the one out, the two, and the two, and we're going to verify that against the five grain weight. We're going to check it on the big weight first, the five grain scale side, and it is dead on exactly five grains. Let's go ahead and back that up one. Move this over to five. So now we're on five grains on the tenth of grain scale. And dead on, dead on the pointer, exact. The scale is doing really, really well. Uh, again, don't use play weights for trying to test your scale. Be sure and get a quality scale uh, set. Now, let's move on and check out the 10 grain cylindrical check weight. Oops. Go over to the second position and rock that in on zero. And it is settling and it's dead on. Settled dead on the mark exactly right on the end of the pointer. Again, this scale is magnificent. Very good job RCBS. It had me worried when I first got this thing and I checked it with the not very well calibrated weight set. But uh, you guys did an awesome job. So here is the, the 20 grain cylindrical weight. So I'm going to jump this over to f the fourth tick mark. And see where, it, see where it settles. I believe this is one of the ones I checked and it was slightly high. Yeah, this one. The 20 grain, and I've got two of the 20 grain weights, and both of them check just slightly high. The pointer is pointing at the bottom of the white line instead of the middle of the white line. Let's move this over one tenth of a grain. The scale is now settling on the top of the white line. So that would tell me that that's about a half of a tenth of a grain because the it was uh, uh, on the top of the white bar when it was set to zero here. And when I moved it to one, it's on the bottom of the white bar. So that would indicate halfway, half of a tenth of a grain. With intolerance, by all means. Now let's get this 20 grain out of here. And we're going to jump up to the 50 grain. So now we have a 50 grain cylindrical weight. And I have the big weight indicator set on 50. It is just about like it was on the 20. The pointer is indicating the bottom of the white line, not the middle of the white line. So I wanna, I wanna try to give it another chance here. Wiggle some things around. <coughs> the indicator is pointing at the bottom of the white line. So we, we figured that was, the bottom of that white line is about a half of a tenth of a grain. The 20 and the 50 were off about a half of a tenth of a grain, still with intolerance. Now we're going to go to the 100 grain weight. There, you can read that one pretty good. 100 GM. 
Alright, 100. I'm going to jump this over to 100. And I think maybe my scale got moved because they're all showing right on the bottom of the white line. So let's verify the scale is still calibrated for zero. And the scale is still dead on zero. The 20 and the 50 were off about a half of a tenth of a grain. And let's go ahead and check the last one, which is the big guy, a 200 grain. And we'll zip this over to 200. And let's see how the 200 weighs out. Settling in, and the 200 is dead in the middle of the white mark. Again, the scale has performed very well. Let's go ahead and check the ability for it to measure a 0.5 grain at 200 grains. So we're going to add 0.5 and see how the accuracy is when it's got a heavy charge in the pot. We're going to move this slider over to 0.5 or the fifth tick mark on the tenth grain scale and see where it settles. Dead in the middle of the white line. It seems to be a very repeatable scale, a very accurate scale. If I recall correctly, I believe we had the 20 and the 50 grain. That was a half of a tenth of a grain off. The rest of them were dead on, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I wanted to make this video to let you guys know out there if my video caused any confusion or caused you not to want to trust the RCBS M500 scale the scale is great. It's these brass weights from Ohals that was in a basically a toy that I was using to test it with and that was the problem. It uh, definitely was not the scale and if I cause any confusion for any of you guys sorry for that. It's a great great product. Now if you want to see my old video on the scale click in the top right hand corner there I'll take you straight to the old video where I was testing the same scale with the uh, brass weights, the Ohas weights. Uh, if you're looking for a good quality check weight set, then I would highly recommend this RCBS 98992 scale check weight set deluxe. I think I gave about $50 for those weights. They have given me peace of mind knowing that the scale is accurate. Hey guys, I just wanted to end this video by me giving you a personal thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, and uh, without you guys, I'd have never made the thousand subscriber mark or the 400,000 watch hours. We are now up to about 42, a little over 4,200 subscribers, and um, I'm not even sure what the watch hours are, way up in the millions. Uh, never thought this would do this. I know it's still a small channel, but Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And I just wanted to, to personally thank you for commenting, subscribing, and watching the videos. I really enjoy seeing your comments. I try to answer those on a daily basis. And um, I just wanted to tell you personally, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.